Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Game of the Max and part five of our Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues, the New California Republic. So, in the last episode, we went to war against Kaiser Legion, or I shouldn't say we went to war, they declared war on us, and now we are, uh, we're, I'm going to call it a stalemate, we've, we've been stalemated hard um, on the river right now. Pretty much no one's getting across, no one's um, on either side is getting across. And we're just kind of waiting right now. I'm, I'm not necessarily... I don't believe I'm in the greatest position to push. Uh, I think we most definitely have to wait quite a bit before... I think my military will be able to take on Kaiser's Legion. Um, we're a little bit equal when it comes to available manpower. Um, but not too, too equal. Cause, especially because they have Lanius's cohort they can draw from. Excuse me. I don't think Lanius's cohort can join um, into Kaisar's Legion faction until they beat the Maxon chapter, which is safe through um, the Hummingbirds over here. So that's the only good news for us as of right now. Um, other than that, let me get up here. Support the sanitation development. Yeah, we're building a lot of military factories right now, and we're just continuing on. We've got to protect the Farmville right here. The um, Two Sons is at war against the Tohono Nation, so we kind of have to just block this passage. Corruption in Shady Sands. A scandal has rocked the New California Republic as the press has revealed that some of the NCR leaders are taking bribe in exchange for government favors. We've seen this before. We'll just lose our political power over that. Good news is the Shemirian consensus is beating the Thunderbirds out, as well as beating the Yakuza. Twice in two lifetimes, intense and deadly fighting has entered the jungle capital of Renoza. The Republic of the Rio Grande forces cleared out robots and conscription forces from entrenched positions. Reporters attached to the frontline unit stating that living soldiers in Reynosa were being rounded up as prisoners of war, and any remaining holdouts were dealt with via high explosive and flamer units. In addition, any remaining mechanized forces in the area under the command of the Generalissimo were being eliminated through dedicated anti-armor teams. Civilians formerly under Santa Ana's rule began to cautiously but surely, ex uh, yes, surely exit their homes, marveling at the absence of the omniscient presence of deadly robots patrolling the streets. Although the Aracitos front in Reynosa was quickly evaporating, the Republic of the Rio Grande intelligence learned that Santa Ana was rallying his army and air force to mount a counterattack and retake the city. While losing his capital came as a heavy loss, the Generalissimo was not ready to go down without another fight or ten. Santa Ana has lost his capital. Mexico's tyrant, or Mexico will lose a tyrant. There's Reynoso, or Reynosa, so La Pesca is their new capital. Complicated circuitry, improved radar. The good news is it's taking them a long time and they haven't taken Yuma yet. Uh, I said that a little too early. I just need to wait to the end of the month. Uh, at the end of the month, I get the units that I've been training up to go south. Yeah, Yuma's the last part of their capital. so close. Hey. Oh, whoops. And if I have to, I will last stand them. I'd rather not, but it's a pretty large force that I wasn't actually expecting to be sent against us. Hey. 
Here's the golf, the State Department. Let's see. Mojave mistakes. Kimball has been, or may have been a blowhard, but as hard as it is for me to admit, he is a dang good public speaker. I can't compete with his stage persona, nor do I want to. We've recently had a few successes, but also a few failures in the Mojave. I'm going to take a trip to the Hoover Dam and give the soldiers the transparency they deserve on our failures as a government, but also hope to inspire them to continue their valiant efforts as they're... Or, as they are there because we are a nation inspired them to be there. So everybody gets a baseball. can't ask them for help which we can uh save the flags beginning again we fought the brotherhood for years but this is not always so the brotherhood shepherd new california through a war with the master helping defeat the enclave and once introduced technology to the wasteland perhaps it's time to look past our differences and the ties that once united us we'll have to defend as best as we can until you mistake it then we're really going to have to defend. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll train up. We can do 27. What do we need? Oh, it says we got a... Ooh, nope. We run out of weaponry right at the end. Let's do another stack of 20. And actually, we'll move my motorized down here. Desert Fox, Strong, Ranger, Spec Ops, Attack, Strong Back, ooh, ooh, Sniper, yeah, uh, we'll give you Inspirational, They have makeshift bridges. Hmm. That's not too good. Fragmentation grenades. Could have thought they had, uh. Oh, well, I'm not gonna lie. This is a lot less scary. So we're moving back up north. And we'll get how many do you need to twelve? We only got nine. Are you all bicycles still? No, just crap trucks. Oh, let's all slash Buy some advanced ballistic weaponry production wise. Combat blimps. I'd rather have combat blimps than our planes, I think. 4,000 radios is is completely like <laughs> way too many. Um, we're still trying to upgrade that. We don't need nearly as much. Okay. Uh, General Thompson's wounded. Yeah, that's pretty bad. He's, he's most definitely probably the best unit I have. 
the best general I have. One of the best. Uh. So my anti air up. Auto Bros put on crazy horns. Where's that at? Oh. They're really trying to cut right there. Down here in Farmville. The Brotherhood Priest Treaty, Elder Angerhard. Angerhard? Angerhard? I don't know how you pronounce that. Has agreed to meet with President Murphy for the first time in years. The Brotherhood will visit Shady Sands and the delegation will take a president in the abandoned outpost. Much remains to be decided between the NCR and Brotherhood. However, too much blood has been shed for us to become friends overnight again. But it's not the beginning of the end. It is at least the end of the beginning. Gains NCR diplomatic relations, gain stability, change in tension by 10, lose the NCR Brotherhood War, and we get a new opinion of them. Not worth doing it easy. Do anything with the Brotherhood on here now? Uh, the slipways for the dockyards. We do need to. Let's see. We don't have a lot of naval experience, but let me look production-wise. Build ships. Uh, research. Oh, wait. Brotherhood NCR peace talks in a shock and reversal relationship. Brotherhood leader Elder Angerhard has agreed to meet with President Murphy to negotiate the creation of a formal peace treaty with the New California Republic. For this time, since the onset of hostilities several decades ago, the Brotherhood will visit Shady Sands. The long abandoned Brotherhood is still outpost, and Shady Sands will be converted into an embassy. Much remains to be decided between the NCR and Brotherhood still for the Brotherhood and Republic's many dinners denizens peace finally appears to be on the horizon after so many years of bloodshed peace at last there you go then you guys actually like me <laughs> immediately just invite the faction tech guns uh, let's get the cutter halls actually get the sea navigation Port equipment, monthly population, soft attack. Let's do lock and load. Well, actually, can I core any territories like San Francisco? Look at this Kodak. Oh, okay. President Algen Murphy stood upon the duty. Or the duty. Okay, let me re. <laughs> Sorry. Look at that. Or look at this Kodak. President Algen Murphy stood upon the dusty asphalt of what's had once been the site of the NCR's biggest battle to date. The remnants of the Battle of Nivero had long since been cleared away by Kimball's administration. The Algen had put a pause on what he considered to be the biggest examples of the prior administration's corruption. In his long coat, he carried a special memento that would either make or break his intended resolves. Visitors resolve in the drastic suggestion he intended to propose to him. Before we could think any farther, an NCR deuce, deuce coop pulled up, styled in the NCR military library, 
Although the car was an open top, Murphy needed to look no farther than the paint to know who this car belonged to. General Alexander Drummond stepped out of the coup, ta uh, taking care to avoid a direct gaze of the president. Looking out at the barren field, Drummond simply asked, what, what had you bring me back here, Murphy? Murphy reached into his coat, pulling out the thin parcel, open it. Drummond did so. Once, upon, once open, the parcel revealed a small, carefully preserved Kodak 9... Or R9000 photograph. The photograph itself was almost artisan in its quality, captured a now redacted date in the NCR's history shortly before the historic battle in Navarro itself. Drummond's impression of the photograph, though Murphy anticipated it to be remarkable, was curious to him. I never did manage to get my face pictured right. The Kodak depicted Drummond in a Brotherhood knight, armored in T51, standing in front of the then new NCR flag, looking over a battalion of training knights and paladins, also armored in T51 power armor. In the background, dozens of NCR troopers scattered about to and fro, preparing for the largest battle of the nation and their own lives at the time. Although the NCR's motorized capacity was low at the time, the NCR truck and planes flying over the field gave a significant impression of the upcoming battle. Grumman gripped the edge of the photo. Why are you showing me this? I thought I had the only copy thanks to that dang photographer getting themselves killed trying to get their perfect shot. Murphy took a, a slight sigh. Grumman, you've worked with the Brotherhood once before. This battle, your reputation, everything have to do with Navarro would have never happened the way it did without your ability to work with them. Now, I'm not a religious man, but I'm a very righteous man. In my many years of practice, I've come to learn the values of forgiveness. I don't know if your own position on the Brotherhood are the same as they were 30 years ago, but we have the greatest republic in the world, and I want to keep it. But we also need to recognize we've made mistakes, the war with the Brotherhood being one of our greatest mistakes. Now, if you don't agree with me, feel free to tear up that photo. But if you want to head or lead negotiations, work with them. Help me to understand them. And please keep that photo intact. I won't force you to pick one or the other. Drummond ripped the photo in half and then again until it was nothing more than a colored profanity, or Drummond carefully slipped the photo back into its package. He's seen it. I don't know if Drummond would actually do that or not, but that's the route I'm going to say he did. I did finish my air doctrine though, which is quite nice. Quite the questions. Cold War Blues, we didn't get anything. Make sure everybody's using all those vehicles that we can. They broke our ciphers, of course they did. Uh, of course they did. Me not even shocked. But yeah. Advanced tools. Construction speed. Prototyping. Manpower. I don't think I can core any of these territories yet. Three hundred. Three hundred. Oh, so it's cheaper if the territory is closer. Not by much. <laughs> Knocked out the Thunderbirds. They defeat the 80s. I'd be even more happy. Oh, I do need to start. <laughs> I was, I was just completely in La La Land there for a minute, not paying attention to the fights. Farsa declared war on Ouroboros. Ah, so the uh, Molmen. See if the realm of Diana <coughs> joins in. Yakuza was annexed. So now they'll probably have to fight the uh, jackals. Let 
me see production wise let's get some of these fighters being built not many Um, Mojave Mistakes, President Ogden Murphy ascended the steps to the landing pad, the vertebrae ready to take off and deliver the president to the Hoomer Dam for a speech. General Mossman walked behind him talking frantically. Sir, with all due respect, it's far too dangerous for you to go to the Mojave. I've said this for days now. The security risk posed by the Legion operatives is much too high for my liking. Please reconsider, sir. Climbing onto the transport, Ogden turned and smiles at Mossman, the blades of the vertebrae begin to whirl. It's important that the troops see that their president is willing to share the same risk as them, Mossman. Besides, your rangers will protect me as they do here. See you soon, General. With that, the door closes and the vertebrae rise into the sky, heading towards the rising sun. We get the uh, Godspeed, sir. Do I have more? Not very many. In the shadow of the valley. Desert plains. Was that what waterways? Yeah, urban plains, mountains and hills, or forests and jungles. Let's just do new recruits. Fragmentation grenades. Set up dynamite. Dogs. Yeah. I actually think my rangers might be served better somewhere else than up here. Down here, down here. Probably right here. Let's we can see it's San Rafael. sound right does it <clears throat> excuse me take me a little sip of water there the fall of Zochikalko an unforeseen catastrophe after a long and arduous campaign against Nueva Atslan the Chichen Itzen Empire force have finally carved their way into the mountainous capital city of Cochicalco. Uh, taking control earlier today, Mount Warford units as well as special operation war forces were engaged in heavy fighting with the Eagle Warrior Cult and Cult and Jaguar Warrior Cult soldiers who were deployed in an effort to buy Nuevo Aslan elites and civilians time to prepare to the ensuing or escape the ensuing bloodshed. So Nuevo Aslan is losing to Chicha Itza. In the Republic of the Rio Grande. I've taken a lot of territory. Much right. more money. Ah, they're starting to lose a lot more than us.
Looks like sail navigation. Let's research the service rifle. Shadow of the Valley. And let's see. Capital fun. All right, down the road, Veronica stood next or stood by Elder McNamara's side as Ambassador Crocker finished running up the formal truce between the Mojave Brotherhood of Steel and the New California Republic. Now, Mister, sorry, Elder McNamara, just to have the verbal side concluded as I'm finished up the written side. You and your Brotherhood chapter, excluding one Father Elijah, formally swear to establish peaceful relations as well as an informal embassy between the New California Republic. McNamara nodded, I swear. Crocker placed the documents inside his briefcase, extended his hand to the Elder's power armored hand. I'm glad that we could resolve this more, or we could resolve this. More would have had you all exterminated if it hadn't been here to clear things up. McNamara took the hand, man's hand, gripping it but not shaking it. I suppose we should be grateful that this could be solved amicably. Then, as Crocker left, Veronica looked towards McNamara, beginning to speak. McNamara held up his hand. I know what you're going to ask me, Veronica, and I wish that you could stay with us in our newfound peace and hopefully, or hopeful prosperity with the New California Republic. I understand your wishes to find respite elsewhere. I have undertaken all necessary measures to ensure that wherever you go, you are always welcome with the Brotherhood, though you understand you are never able to return to our bunker in Hidden Valley. Veronica nodded, giving McNamara a firm nod of her head. She also gave the Elder a brief salute. Ad Victorium, Elder. The Elder returned to the salute. Ad Victorium, Veronica sent to Ngelio. With that, Veronica took the few possessions she ever had while the Brotherhood, a power fist, her robes, and a small photo book with Christine's photo inside. After a period of time, she approached the Old Mormon Fort and began to prepare a new life as a follower of the Apocalypse. She becomes a cultural advisor. Time for the silent scribe to shine. So we can now get Veronica Sentingello. Which helps with the research speed. Okay. We have 248 factories. Pretty nice. I call the eighties as our enemy. Ooh. Uh, uh -huh. I hated to do that. But you guys are all commanding officers. Defense, moving defense. Traders from Hawaii uh, will gain the war support this time. Is actually a part of cut yeah yeah so if I capitulate you scavengers triumph perfect oh, send power armor out
fertilizer. Take the cutter hall. Let's see. I know I have an extra bomber squadron somewhere. Fighters that have whopping two. Two. Yeah, this is this is good. This is a stalemate. Hopefully you guys get claim on the eighties. Let's see. Thread not the defenses are online. Do you capital fund? Militarize Republic, followers, army, gunrunner contracts, share our wealth. Let's do a league of their own. I kind of just want to see if it lets me get people into our faction. Probably not. Probably was a big waste of my money. Or not money, but time. I only have 4,000 infantry equipment. Right on. Keep buying it. Alright, you get you to be inspirational with the mysterious stranger. And. leader uh -huh. nope yeah Additional twenty. Vegas is ours. Mr. House understands that we are the shield that guard the realms of civilization against all who threaten us. Accordingly, Vegas is prepared to enter the Republic, becoming one more point of light in the darkness. Already, our bureaucrats are preparing to assess the city's wealth 
tax and it, uh, ensure the adequate distribution of resources. They become our puppet under the king and not Benny. Uh, let's see. Kingdom of Manitoba declared war on the old believers. The free fighters declared war on the Sonola cartel. Should open up some part of our focus. Right. factories that's a lot of mills Program. I refuse. I'd rather them just have their own leaders. Hopefully, they send a bunch to the north. Infantry. Production now. Uh, not production. Research. Where's that at? There it is. 31 days, 42 days. There's bricks. Radio integration. Our bros was, wait, did it say our bros was annexed? They were annexed. Farson. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, this is exactly what we were hoping for. I know that was a weird way to say yes. But Genta de So. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought they were part of the, the Rio Pact. How did they get kicked out? Oh, that's, that's so trashy. And I can't do anything with Genta this, so I can, uh... No. Well, I mean, I could... No, I can't. They don't want to be a part of this. I mean, I'll, I'll send you some equipment. I thought we had it. I thought we had it made. Yeah.
league of their own. Offered Lost Hills. Get ready for the game. Clear war on the jackals. No, I need you to clear war on the 80s. <laughs> I don't care about the jackals. <laughs> uh, we can get promising followers. Gives us more research speed. I'm okay with that. Capitals already under threat. Legal fighters. Oh, you guys are under the rulers. Start beating back the 80s. Ah, uh, they retreated from their capital. Oh, I see. So the Legion has a, a territory right there that they can push through. I got you. Jackals were annexed. Not the Slanners. Not the Slanners. I was going to say, I'll let them join. I could probably offer for them to join Gents of the Soul now, but I don't want them. Cutter Hall. Let's do a break. Cutter. Destroyers. Oh man, that's super expensive. Send you out to the bone yard. And then you all start training. And they broke our ciphers. Traders from Hawaii. Uh, let's get more war support. So we put one of the blighted woods. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't realize they were sitting out there waiting for us. <laughs> uh, that was so stupid of me. Start trying to get that Admiral guy.
There's a service rifle, so we can finally retire the service pistol. Which is not all that great. Nope, save. Save my naval experience. Which, I mean, I guess, uh... I guess that was the best thing to happen for me because now I have the naval experience I need to build my boats. I was like, I'm just gonna sacrifice all of you to now build a better cut all. It's still not that great, but it's better than any canoe, probably. Let's see. Like, the destroyer has what? Light attack 6.3. Seriously? How does this have more light attack? Let me start to really focus a lot on naval for a little bit. Scavengers return and triumph. The Legion Civil War. Ooh. A lot of lag. Sons of Khazar declared war on Malefus Cohort. Full Police Legion declared war on Malefus Cohort. Okay, and Aurelius Legion popped up. Legion Civil War. The lands across the Colorado River, once an unsailable bastion under the command of the most powerful man in the world, eh, have fractured into open conflict. The death of Khazar led to the various potential successors rallying support and claiming the land before the rivals could, avoiding conflict for the most part. It seems that this tentative situation has finally ignited. The fighting being reported all across the Legion lands. Forces loyal to the high-ranking figures among the Legion, each of whom claim to be Khazar's true successor, are engaged in open combat, championing the cause of their respected leaders. The once unified and seemingly unstoppable armies of Khazar now tear themselves apart. It is unsure which of these claimants will emerge victorious and claim the title of Khazar. What is certain, however, is that until this conflict is resolved, the wrath and might of the Legion has been temporarily silenced. The bull's been broken. So we're still at war with the two sons. Now we're at war at... Are we at war with these guys? Nope. We're at war with Aurelius's, Malpheus's, and Volupius, but not this gentleman. They want docking rights. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Send volunteers, New Canaan. Yeah, we'll accept volunteers from New Canaan. While we're fighting through the 80s. And we're not at war here, yeah. so... I swear. I swear okay. to all that is holy. If they turn around and declare war on me, I'm going to scream. Move my military down. Yeah, because the Sons of Vulcan aren't at war with me. Lanius Cohort, yeah, they're not joining the war either. Start to push. Take Yuma. Might not be able to break right there, but that'll be fine. Actually, check my planes. Put you all down to southern Arizona. Ah, yes, my motorized. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm fast. I'm fast. 
Aurelius breaks in this. Miniature rocket launching systems. Soft attack, hard attack, soft attack. Low caliber. Ooh, negative piercing? I'd rather just get that. In my opinion, that's better. We don't have to defend there. Come fight with me. Mount. I guess what? Mount Napoleus's legate is also not at war with us. So who who actually So Vultius's Aurelius's and two sons plus the Navajo. Who do I need to defeat? The eighties, two sons, Volupius, the reservation. Well. Do this one. Do you expanded slipways, dockyards? Build these cutter halls. Ah, yes. Wait, what? I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, that was a that was a bug, <laughs> or a, or something. My whole army got teleported back to Shady Sands. What? So weird. I wonder if it'll happen again. If it happens again, I'm going to like throw my. I don't know. Throw something at somebody. That's just so weird. Like, I didn't click a button or anything. I don't know. If you guys know what happened. If you guys are like experts on this mod, yeah. uh, maybe you guys can let me know what's what kind of happened with that. I know for a fact it wasn't supposed to happen. Up? Or at least I was hoping that it wasn't supposed to happen. Too bad fight in the eighties. The Ranger tin cans. Southern Phoenix. We 
just took three suns, so now we need to take two suns. Is there one sun? No. <laughs> the joke wasn't that good, but it was still, it still had to be made. Ranger power, or ranger armor. We'll say ranger power armor. Bunch of new Vegas troops, bunch of troops actually in general. Yeah, coming out of the Mojave. Far Sun declared war in the realm of Diana. I don't I don't know if she wins this or not. No, by the looks of it she doesn't. Aurelius's Legion capitulates. So the 80s. I'm about to take two sun. Oh, we took two sun. So who's theirs? Volupius's. Kingdom of Manitoba was seized. when able to. No, I don't want to take anything. Construction repair, construction expansion, my caliber. Some anti-air. Yeah, the 80s are... 80s are not having fun. Let's see. Ooh, an improv yeah, we'll get that. What's left of Aurelius's? There goes two sun. Oh, whoa. Let's see. Hey. Uh huh. His souls can fight in the south. Spin walls for cruisers. Looks like the sons of Vulcan are actually gonna win it. Realm of Diana's being beat up. She lost most of her forces way over there. Uh, old, old loudspeakers from Roman Cricket. Court territories. Court San Francisco. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. If, uh, if they get all of the territory for this war, I'm going to be really, really sad. Not mad, just sad. Ranger can openers. Seth Rangers. Special forces. Make you guys better. I don't know. Use power armor, so Heaven's Gate to put war on High Chapel. If we can knock out Vlupius's uh, Legion, 
course Aurelius, his legion's not done for. Framing for Juarez City. See, remember, I was like, we just need to hold out for a short amount of time till something happens. And that something happened. Guys are dying. The defenses are online. We get 10 fighters. Do the grain solicitation. I guess we can't do the uh, welcome the people in. Naval base infrastructure arms workshop. Malapias cohort, we're not at war with you. You're a well liked leader. Now we're really flooding against the uh, 80s. Hoping that uh, Felupius' Legion falls pretty soon. The fox. Right? Or the wolf, maybe? I think he might be the wolf. The coyote. <laughs> Take Guara City. Yeah. Combat armor. Research. Perfect. Fine. Finally. We have the most. So let's start taking parts of Tucson. his legion get to take all this territory I'll take their boats now 4,000 we probably won't Fought you for some of it because you've capitulated. Uh, I can't get any more. Okay. The bear's indi indigestion. Although the NCR has prevailed over the Legion, it now faces a new problem what to do with the far flung Dominion, Arizona, New Mexico, and the lands beyond were never united before the Legion. If the NCR is going to administer the vast empire, who can tame a wilderness so immense? Three roads, so we gain resistance plus eight. Uh, if I shouldn't have had seconds. Actually, that's exactly what I just thought. <laughs> Y'all gave me no time. Yeah? Yeah? Start 
fighting in the south. Aurelius's legion should be done for, but now they're like, oh. I don't believe I am. Oh. Wow, we just need the 80s to capitulate. Uh huh. We split them in half. Yeah. Yeah. Soldiers of Seth. Start doing the uh, military drills. Big Jim. No, Big Tim. Is it Big Jim? What's up? Big Jim. I thought it was. Yeah? Anyway, disregard me. I can't remember if it was Jim, Tim. It's all about the same. Paddle steamer. Start doing some paddle boats. Defeated the eighties almost. Diana pretty much gone. Could have invited her to my faction. Buy a little start market, ching. If it comes to bite us in the butt, it comes to bite us in the butt. Diana's gone. What's up? Perfect. Production cost, max range. Production cost, a lot of been everything better. Actually, I wouldn't mind a light manufacturing. Cass. Cass manufacturing. We'll defeat the 80s. And then... Great national pastime. The sounds of crowds fill the air. Of the Boneyard is a huge crowd of people trick trickling into the recently built New California baseball arena, uh, uh, eagerly anticipating the historic moment they were about to witness. After 200 years, baseball will finally return to California. With the inaugural match of the new league taking place in the home city of the NCR president, Augin Murphy, a round of applause filled the stadium as the teams took to the field. The NCR's own Roaring Bears played against teams of the NCR's allies. As the team settled into the position, the crowd fell silently, tensely waiting for the starting sign on the sound with the blaring call of the game begins and the crowd roars as the first ball is hit. So get ready for a new game. 11 options will happen. I don't know how that works because if there's 11... Oh, does she have a zero chance? Yeah, because there's no she. Um, you got 10% chance of everybody winning except for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, there it is at the top. So 10% for everybody. Go, go, Roaring Bears. All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here uh, with victory over a part of Kaisar's Legion. Uh, once we defeat the 80s, we we'll, should take the rest of Aurelius's legion and his territory, and then we'll see about what happens after that. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.